Hello, welcome back to our channel. Um, today I'm gonna start another DIY project because this baby isn't here yet. Um, don't know, thought she'd be here by now, but what am I gonna do, sit around watching shows? I have six weeks after she's born to do that. So we are going to tackle this shelf situation. I found this shelf on Facebook Marketplace yesterday and it is like the same dimensions as the Billy Bookcase from Ikea. And a lot of people are doing little Billy Bookcase Ikea transformations. So it was like, I'll do it with this Facebook Marketplace shelf. Um, I have big plans for it, which it might be split into two stages because the materials I need, I had to order and I don't know when they'll get here. So potentially they could get here after baby comes in which case would, you know, prolong my project a little bit. But I got inspiration from, once again, I swear I am not going to do every project based on Drew from Lone Fox, but what can I say? I just love his style and his, if you haven't seen his Architectural Digest Billy Bookcase flip, I will post it below because it is incredible and what he ended up with was absolutely gorgeous and what I want in my living room. And I really need some storage in here. It's gonna be beautiful. I just um, have some random stuff up there right now because it's been sitting on the floor in here. Um, but I'm gonna start by taking off all of the shelves and priming them. And I'm going to film it all so you'll see it. Here we go. Okay, first things first, paint clothes, always, because I'm too messy. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. So the shelf is obviously like one of those, um, what is it called? Like particle board, vinyl, wood lookalike type things. Clearly I know my stuff. So when I was picking out paint, I talked to the sweetest man at the paint area at Home Depot. And he gave me some advice. So he told me that this um, primer is the best to use on that. So if I do a couple of coats of this primer, I won't have to use a special kind of like shellac paint. I can just use regular paint. So this is Bare Multi-Surface Stain Blocking Primer and Sealer. So it says it's good for wood, masonry, metal, and drywall. So the metal is like the same type of texture, I guess. So a couple coats of this will ensure that it doesn't get scratched up easily. And then um, I just have Bare Paint. It's the Dynasty, so it's like stain repelling, and it's good for, you know, it's gonna be like anti-scuffing and good for stuff like shelves that are gonna be, have stuff on them on and off. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I need to like calm down. I get out of breath so easily. It's hard for me to talk for a long time. Okay, I got a little, one of these little shortcut brushes. I think they're just more comfortable little paint thing. I'm use a small roller because it'll just be a lot easier. And I'll show you the color that I got. Cocoa Malt. It's really pretty like neutral beige color. So it won't be so stark white next to my like and blend in with my wall. It'll add like a little bit. Okay the guy made this look so easy when he did it. This is the color. It's a very like pretty beigey, ivory, more like an ivory. Yeah, it'll be pretty.
Because the moment you have a situation where you are really in control of things, that is to say, in which the future is almost completely predictable. I finished the first coat. Um, I started kind of doing the second coat, but realized it was a little too tacky still, so I'm gonna wait it out, let that dry. I went ahead and primed the sides and I'm gonna paint them. Even though I'm, they're gonna be covered eventually, I don't know how long it'll be until I can finish this because the timing's so weird with baby coming. So I just went ahead and painted the sides so that in the meantime, it can look like finished-ish, if it does take me a while. So, I still have a couple of the shelves to do the actual shelf part, so I'm gonna start on that. But, just gotta let it dry. Okay, I got two coats of, oh my god. I got two coats of primer on. It's not 100% because this is like, primer's really kind of tacky. But I think that um, putting paint over it will just, you know, cover it nicely. It's just like a barrier and kind of, it kind of like does the same effect that sanding does, like roughs it up and helps the paint to stick better. So I think we're gonna start painting now, I'm excited. actually been a few weeks um, since we started this project but we are back and we are with child hi I started this project when you were still in my tummy and she's not really wanting me to get work done today but we're going to do it so we've started work our living room is a mess because there's stuff everywhere but we are going to finish this shelf and I'm actually I've decided to move the shelf from the wall that it's been on to this wall and then put the mirror over there um, just because it's a bigger wall it takes up more space and it wouldn't be covering an event so we are gonna get started hopefully this girl will let us work Jake is working right now on the base Jake yep. say hi Slapping the base <laughs> He's um, adding a base to the bottom because I wanted it to be a little taller and look a little more like professional and not just like a basic bookcase on the ground. So we're just gonna get to it. Okay, after a quick Home Depot trip, we are now the owners of a Brad Nailer, Brad Nailer and compressor kit. Every project we do we tend to buy a new tool which we're just adding to our collection so that's fine but here we go that'll make it easier to build the base and to do a lot of other projects in our house so
we got our little things cut out and now these are gonna go along the side to be um, kind of like a support for the pole wrap to go around because the pole wrap is just like, it needs to be formed or else it's just gonna cave in. So these, they can kind of be random. They just need to be like throughout the top and bottom. So I cut out eight, so I think four on each side is gonna be fine. I just need to make sure to leave a gap towards the inside where the pull wrap is so it comes flush up to it. and today is going to be sanding and painting and hopefully decorating because I think it'll be dry. And we're gonna start by um, sanding the holes that I filled yesterday. They're like those holes that, um, you know, where you can put the pegs in for, oh shoot, I forgot these ones. Damn it, how did I do that? Well, crap. I'm gonna have to do those and let them dry and then paint, but it's okay. Um, I don't know where the, my hole filler is though. It's really downstairs. Okay, well, that's the stuff we're gonna do, so here we go. Helpers here. We did the first coat and it looks so good, but the lighting, it looks way brighter on camera. <laughs> it looks way brighter on camera, but in real life it's like super dark. And so I wanna make sure tomorrow when I have natural light that I have 
covered all the spaces and it looks good like down at the bottom it looks I think that's just a shadow from this but yeah it's looking good so we'll check it tomorrow and hopefully I won't need to do much then I can decorate it and rearrange the living room I can feel 